You guys, we're thrifting, obviously. And look at this really pretty Henry Bundell wallet. It just needs to be cleaned up. Safiano leather. Really nice. We're gonna get that. It'll look like brand new when I'm done with it. And then this is so cool. This um, Dooney and Burke, vintage Dooney and Burke large tote. I'm gonna get that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get um, this, but it is a uh, Sharif. It's brand new, tags attached, so that's a possibility. I'm just not sure if anybody's into the pewter leather. Um, and then this is a really, really neat looking uh, crossbody bag by, um, oh gosh, who was it by again? vintage I believe I'll, I'll have to relook I can't get in there to see Maybe, let me see if I can get this okay that's it sorry I had to put the bone in there to see if the DKNY but it's really neat really neat looking bag so I might get that like the, the DKNY I'm not a hundred percent and the um, Sharif I'm not a hundred percent but checking out the wallets real quick because that Henry Bendel is definitely a good score so we'll grab him Brighton tiny cell phone case. There's this coach here, but it's a little too much wear for me to purchase at the top. Cute, but we're gonna pass on this one. Jin Jingpin. Hmm. There's a Dooney and Burke. I really love vintage, vintage Dooney. Love, love it. The quality is really amazing. The Victoria's Secret little fringy backpack. I've sold several of those. Looks like a Brighton, not a Brighton. I can tell by just the glance of it. Yeah, not a Brighton. Same, a Brighton look, but not a Brighton. Thank you for thrifting with me today. Thank you for coming along and sharing my day at the thrift store. I really appreciate every single one of you. Even if you don't purchase, just coming along for the ride. Great to have you. I was thinking about getting this. I'm a Tinkerbell freak. But my favorite, if there was a favorite Disney character for me, it would be Tinkerbell. Very cute. But I don't know if any of you guys would actually be interested in that one. This is definitely a vintage. Here you go, I won't say it. 
I'll just show it instead. There's so much controversy on how you pronounce the name. This would be really pretty once I got her all conditioned and cleaned. I love the leather on it. I like the basket weave on the front, it's very pretty. The clasp is nice. It's got the A clasp on it here. Um, is it supposed to have a crossbody? I don't know. What's this? That's pretty. Got the tea on it like a Tory Burch. Let me open this up here real quick. Dang it, look at what they did with the clip. It's a fake Tory. You can't sell it, you guys. Not allowed to. $6.99. Pretty, but I'm not going to get it because it's not the real deal. I mean, if I wanted it, I would get it from myself. So I got all the paper in it and everything, but I don't want it from myself, so I'm not going to get it. I love the color and I love quilting. Did you guys know that cork is the same, wears the same as genuine leather? In case anybody was wondering. Pelcor. I think that's an expensive brand. I'm going to look it up for the heck of it. Because why not? Looks like a Kate Spade. Not a Kate Spade. I looked up this bag. Um, turns out it is about $125 resale. Uh, Hellcore cork. Comes with this little pouch on the inside. This is Pelcore on it. Pelcore here. It's from Portugal. Um, very lightweight. I think I'll grab it just because it's so uh, unique and it's very earth friendly and I know I do have some of my buyers that really like that and it looks like a woven leather but it actually is called cork leather. It's very nice so maybe I'll go ahead and get it because of its uniqueness and all the little guy, the little neat things that come with it. I really love the little hang tag on it. It's really nice. So we'll go ahead and pick this up. And if anybody would like it, I'll put it up for sale. Okay, so there's that.
let's get this started. First, I'd like to introduce you to my buddy here. Buddy girl, buddy boy, whatever you want him to be. So cute! This is gonna go on my front porch for Easter because I wanted to get a life-size bunny, but um, this actually could be life-size for like a toddler. It's, it's a big, big stuffed bunny. And I paid $7.99 for her and she's gonna be a part of my really cool Easter decor I got going on. I could not pass this up. Um, let me turn down my heater a little bit. I couldn't pass this up, you guys. I know summer's almost here, but for all of the winters to come, this is an Ugg blanket, um, Ugg brand. So I'm just gonna take it home, wash it. Where's the little tag at? I only paid, I think, $6.99 for this. And one of the main reasons too is I like taking these kind of blankets to the beach to snuggle up in when it gets kind of chilly out. So it's like a grayish taupe with the Sherpa, faux Sherpa line. So I got that really nice snuggly blanket. Oh, here's the price right here. Yeah, $6.99. Good deal, right? So let's put my friend back here. Two. Alrighty, so get those. Um, I went ahead and I got, I couldn't believe how expensive these are, so I got this. And this is by the brand that I was showing you, um, the cork bag by the brand Pelcor. So if you go on Pelcor.com, you can see all of their bags and their prices, and they are expensive indeed. I'll show you these wallets in just a second. Um, but it's in great condition and it's got the little matching pouch on the inside. You guys can see if you look up close, you can tell it's cork. But from a distance, it looks like leather and it feels like leather. It's really, really cool. And I've never owned a cork bag, but I wanted to pick this up for you guys just in case you'd be interested because it's so unique. So we did that. And then um, well, I'll go ahead and show you the wallets. I did this, I got this as a project piece. This is Hobo International and I'm like, I'm practicing on leathers now on how to clean and um, restore. So Hobo, Interna Hobo International is one of my very favorite brands for bags and wallets. And I went ahead and I got this one because other than like the scratching, which is fine, those are easy to buff out. But I'm gonna see how what, how I can get the uh, little dirt and stuff out. You know me, I would use it like this because I love vintage. But I'm gonna try to restore it and see what happens. And if, if it doesn't restore that well, then that's okay too. So there's that one and then they also had this one as well. This one just needs a little bit of moisturizing. This is the Hobo Lauren. And these are like $160 or $70, brand new. But it's gorgeous, black. Hobo International. Lauren wallet. I've sold many of these. You guys really seem to like these, as, as do I. You can use them as a clutch, all kinds of card slots. Um, so yeah, these are really, really wonderful wallets okay um and then as for the bags i did go ahead and i bought this because i was a bit shocked at how much sharif is online uh brand new so this obviously is brand new never worn tags are still attached plastic still attached it does not have the retail on this bag but if you like you can go on to sharifdesign.com and you can see the prices yourself. But it's just beautiful. It's got the lobster claw on the front and I'll show you the inside. Oh, it looks as if there's a little peeling right here. So that's probably just been in somebody's closet sitting there maybe getting a lot of rub or something, but there is a little bit of rub right there. And then look at the inside. Comes with a dust bag. 
and then there's multiple pockets on the inside. And this is a big center zip compartment right here. So it's got the silica tablets in it. A little card that comes with it. Um, a lot, a lot of pockets. Beautiful pebbled leather in a gray pewter color with the um, silver studs. And then underneath that is a gray patent leather. Chain toggle, zipper on the back. Pretty buckles on the straps. So if you're interested, this will be listed below for sale. Put the dust bag back in it. And it's a large, it's a large size uh, tote style bag. Genuine leather. Okay. And what else did I get? Oh yeah. This was hard to find. I really love this bag. I'll keep it. If nobody wants this one, if you do want it, you can purchase it, but I kind of want this one just because it's so original and you know I love tote bags. Still has the little hang tag on it, little Dooney sign, black pebbled leather. You can attach a strap to it. It did not come with the crossbody strap. It also has the little patch on the back, um, the chunky zipper on the top. Works great. Um, here is the Dooney and Burke tag. Right here. Tag of authenticity. And then you flip it and then there's a number on the opposite side. Then the inside has the pockets and it's a suede interior. So I really like this a lot. I'm just gonna um, take it home, moisturize it, and it's gonna be so pretty. Love the pebble on it. Handbag or shoulder bag, tote, whichever. I actually fit this on like a tote. So yeah, it's really, really nice. Okay, and then I showed you the um, Henry Bendel wallet, if anybody's interested. When I get it home, I'm gonna clean it up. She's gonna be all pretty, but it's a really nice Henry Bendel. And you can put your, like your most used cards, right? Most used card, like your debit right there or your apartment key. If you have a, a credit card style, put that in there. Um, and then Safiano leather, it's got the little black and white trim on here. Two slip pockets your coin compartment, gold tone hardware, and there's one, two, three, four, five, ten credit card slots. And you can put two or three cards in each slot. And there you go, there you have it, Henry Bendel. So nice. And that is today's thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, anything, if you do decide to purchase it, purchase it is a uh, final sale. Please ask all questions before you purchase and how to purchase will be also in the description box where everything is listed. All right, you guys, have a beautiful day and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.